Have you ever tried to clean up text-based data like this and you spend hours trying to get them all spelled the same? Well, I'm going to show you a really quick trick in Tableau Prep on how to clean it up in just a few seconds. That's right, seconds. So before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get alerts when I get new videos, when I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So let's begin. All right, let's start with the data set. So if you want to follow along with this video, uh, there is a link in the description below. So just click that and you will get the Excel file, which we will load up right now. And let me show you what's inside this. So let's do a clean step. And a lot of you who deal with data, you'll know this where you have unstructured text, things where anyone can type anything into any system and you end up with spelling mistakes or spaces or, you know, all, all these kind of little errors. And you could have two rows that are the same thing. Let's say for this example, we've got Afghanistan and Afghanistan. They're spelled the same, but they, they're not treated the same as a computer. So we need to consolidate the data. So let me show you how we're going to do that. In Tableau Prep, there are group and replace functions, right? Or group values as they're now called. And you can see that there's actually four methods. Well, what is the difference between these four methods? It's the underlying algorithm, but if, you probably don't care about that. What we're really interested in is how it's gonna perform. So I'll show you a trick so that um, you can test each algorithm independently and just from visual checks go this is the best one for me or these two are the best for me and we'll do it step by step so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this uh, and we're going to duplicate it um, four times right so one for each grouping value so we can test them independently so i'm going to right click here duplicate right click again duplicate again and we'll do it one more time duplicate all right and then i'm going to call this spelling we're going to call this common characters all right we're going to call this pronunciation and this last one i can never remember uh common characters pronunciation manual selection right which we'll leave manual all right so you can probably guess with manual it's really just you picking all right these two and then group. But you don't want that to be your first approach because that's the most time consuming. You want one that's gonna cover about 80% of the cleaning that's required, right? So let's try spelling first. I'm gonna go group values, spelling, right? And what you'll notice is these little bars have now changed, which means they've grouped together. And every time you see this paperclip, it means there's a group in there. So if I click on one, you'll see it's actually grouped these two together great but you can see that algeria didn't really work we've got uh, bhutan not working cuba not working so it does some of them but not all of them so let's try the common characters group values common characters and you can see in this one algeria actually did work uh, bhutan work cuba work afghanistan didn't work right so it's hit and miss and let's try pronunciation next right and let's see what that was able to do. So now it's able to do Afghanistan, but still can't do Algeria, right? And then the last one is manual, so we'll just leave it there. So what I like to do is once I've built all three, I can actually eyeball, well, which one is the best for the first 80%? And I can probably say it's the, from the looks of it, it's the pronunciation one, right? Because it can actually group these together. So what I will do is actually take this country, which is our raw uh, data set, and I'll do pronunciation first right great that'll do the first one and then i'm just going to rename these if i need to for any which i don't or maybe just jamaica jamaica all right and then i'll look at one of the other ones and be like okay which one was able to solve any that i missed so for example gambia egypt right let's have a look so gambia egypt it looks like the spelling one worked so here's the secret you can actually do multiple group and replaces one after the other on the same uh, field of data. So now we can go in here and go spelling, right? And it's going to do a second group and replace. So basically you're mixing algorithms together. All right, let's have a look. So I can see Algeria only has one, so it's still missing this one here, right? Let's have a look. Which one was able to do Algeria? So we got common characters, clean and replace. Let's go common characters. Right, so now I've got this cleaned up. We can just simply rename this. So now we're doing just a manual one here. 
right? And if we look at all these fields, it looks like it's actually cleaned it up properly. So now I can actually remove these other four, right? And I've got my clean data set. Now you're probably gonna say, well, why don't I just apply all of them at the same time? Well, that's because it doesn't always work perfectly and it might actually group things that are very similar, but they're not actually, they shouldn't actually group. So by doing it in this step-by-step, -step, you're guaranteeing that the quality in terms of how it allocates is much better and you know you've checked it with a visual inspection as well. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Bye.